Hi, this is Dave Farina from CosmosSafari.com. I am super excited today. I have a brand new box that I just picked up off of my doorstep and I'm going to be opening it up today. But before I do, I want to mention to you that this is an unboxing of an astrophotography kit that I think is going to completely change the way that I'm capable of doing my astrophotography. The goal of this purchase was to make an automation sequence so much more capable for me. And uh, the product that I'm gonna be opening today is actually multiple products from Pegasus Astro. And uh, their product line is pretty deep. Um, I can go into detail in future videos, but let's get to the unboxing and I'll show you what I picked up. Alright, so here we go. I'm opening up the box for the first time, guys. And let me just say right off the bat that Pegasus did a great job to make sure that this was safely delivered in very short order. Um, this product line that I'm going to be showing you and unveiling today is brand new. In fact, uh, I think I might be one of the first people here in the US and maybe first people globally to have some of these products. So very exciting for me to be able to bring some of these reviews to you guys. Um, this was purchased with my own money. I'm not being paid by Pegasus Astro to say anything today. Um, I am completely going to be honest with you guys um, about what these products are capable of. I'm going to give you an unbiased review here on Cosmos Safari. I want to be clear about that. Um, I will say, however, that this is a product line that I'm pretty excited about. And uh, I don't know how else to tell you. Uh, this is going to be amazing for me. I think um, it'll make the productivity of this channel go up dramatically. Okay, and this is the first box that I'm going to be opening up. And this box is uh, very exciting for me. It is the Ultimate Power Box V2. Now, many of you may have heard of the Ultimate Power Box V2 previously, but this is a little bit different. Pegasus Astro um, has changed the design of this new Ultimate Power Box. And you'll see in just a moment, that change is now in metal. Now, everything about this Ultimate Power Box V2, and there it is, check this thing out. It is absolutely beautiful. So, all the things about this Ultimate Power Box V2 are identical to the previous Ultimate Power Box V2, including all of the ports, uh, all of the capabilities, and I'm not gonna go into detail on those today. The only difference is that it is now in this blue metal, but I wanted to wait. I actually contacted Pegasus Astro a few months back and I said, I'm seeing the writing on the wall, guys. It looks like you're going to have to shift towards a metal box for your Ultimate Power Box V2, and they actually confirmed that. Um, so let's take a look at what we're getting in the box today. Along with the Power Box V2, we're also gonna get all the cables. This was a big selling point for me. Um, I wanted to make sure that I didn't have to buy proprietary cables at a high cost like some of the other uh, companies out there. So that was one of the selling points for me is that it came uh, with some cables and that the cables themselves are rather inexpensive if you need to purchase more of them in the future. Um, so that's what else is in the box, let's see. Okay. Um, we also have the cigarette lighter adapter, okay, and the cigarette lighter or uh, 12 volt adapter is not going to be used by me. Um, I got the DC to AC power converter, so this won't be required, but it's nice to have, especially if I'm remote at some point, so I'm going to put that back in the box. And we also have our uh, USB cable, USB 3.0, and this USB cable is um, may or may not be used just based on the length of it. I might try to shorten it up a little bit. Notice the connection there um, on this cable is kind of like almost like the printer style. The third thing in the box here uh, for accessories is this little guy. I'm not gonna get it out of the case today, but this is your little temperature sensor so that you can uh, have your um, telescope temperature 
in addition to things like focusers and whatnot. So let's put this all back uh, in the box here. And I'm going to move on to the next item. Yes, there are more things here in the box. The next thing here in the box is the Ultimate Power Box V2 mounting plates and brackets. So I will have the dovetail brackets that will allow me to place this on top of my telescope, the Stellarview SVX 130T uh, apochromatic ref refractor. The other thing that I have here is the plate to mount my PC on top of this. So we'll have um, our Ultimate Power Box V2 with the mounting plate connecting it to the actual telescope, the second mounting plate, which will help to mount this PC on top of this. Uh, the third thing I have here in this little bag is this little dummy battery that will allow me to connect the Pegasus Astro Ultimate Power Box V2 Metal Edition to my Canon T3i DSLR. And this is gonna be helpful whenever I want to shoot more wide field. I'll have that telescope piggybacking on top of the telescope and this battery will allow me to not have to worry about power um, for that DSLR, which is a great benefit. I already have used a similar setup in the past where I had the dummy battery. The difference now is that the dummy battery will connect directly to the Ultimate Power Box V2, meaning that all of my cabling is still on top of the telescope, which is great. As I said earlier, the other thing that I'm going to be getting here is the power brick that allows me to connect the Pegasus Astro Ultimate Power Box V2 Metal Edition directly to AC power. And so that's what this block is. It will allow me to do that. This is an international product. This part of it is universal, but the part of it that is uh, connecting from here to your outlet in the wall is specific to your country. So US of course is different than European. Okay, the next part of my unboxing is a very exciting addition. And this is actually one that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Uh, it is the Focus Cube V2. And the Focus Cube V2 has been out for quite a while, but I wanted to make sure that I did not limit myself um, right off the bat. So I purchased not only the Ultimate Power Box, uh, but also the Focus Cube V2. And what this will allow me to do is it will allow me to actually control my telescope remotely. I don't actually have to focus manually anymore. And this will improve focus not only initially, but actually will continue to maintain focus throughout the night. And it actually will connect through uh, this little pin in the back here. This little axle is connected to an electric uh, stepper motor. And that stepper motor will control the focuser on my telescope. Um, which hopefully both bolts right up. And I'll make a video specifically on how to do that, how to connect this to my telescope. So very exciting uh, to have finally an automated focusing system. And uh, Pegasus, of course, sends all of the little components necessary to do that mounting directly in the kit, which once again is a benefit compared to some of the competition out there. I, I really kind of did my homework on this. We've got um, our USB cable in here. Once again, we also have a 12 volt power supply, but I won't be using this. I'll be using the Pegasus Astro uh, Ultimate Power Box to power this. So this goes back in the box. Um, and then this is the L bracket that mounts for the refractor type of telescope. So if you have a refractor, you need this L mount. If you have a reflector, specifically a schmidt cassegrain type telescope, you, you would need a different type of bracket for the purpose of doing the automated focuser. So let's put this all back in the box. Oh, we got one more thing. This last thing um, is the temperature probe. And this temperature probe is going to connect to uh, this port right here on the Focus Cube V2. And what that will allow me to do is it will allow me to get a temperature reading directly at the focuser, which will allow me to know the temperature of the telescope. And what that does is that it 
it adjusts using micro adjustments throughout the night so that I can make sure that my telescope stays in focus and it make those temperature adjustments as temperatures change, the thermal expansion, the thermal properties of that telescope will adjust and we need to make, uh, we need to take advantage of that or control that factor. All right, moving on to the next thing, the hand controller. One of the drawbacks I would say to having an automated focuser like this one is, if you want to still manually control your focuser, you actually have to disconnect it using an Allen screw. Um, and you can still use your focus knobs manually then. Um, I don't wanna have to do that all the time. So I decided right away to get the um, focus hand controller. So this is the focus hand controller and it will connect via USB to our focus cube V2. And what that will allow me to do is using this knob here, I will be able, oh, I like the clickiness on that. Uh, it makes a little clicking. Yeah, so that little clickiness is actually really nice. What it will allow me to do is to give myself when I'm viewing visually manual control over that focus. And I guess I could use it for astrophotography as well, especially if I'm using a DSLR and I want it to be a little bit more manual um, in my shooting if I didn't want to deal with a laptop or something like that. Um, I could certainly just control my focus here. And this gives me a much higher precision control than you would normally expect with something like uh, just a hand knob. So pretty cool, excited to have the hand control focus um, with this remote control for the Focus Cube V2, very cool. All right, and last but not least, this is a very exciting addition as well. It is the Falcon Rotator. So the Falcon Rotator is going to allow me to take my image and turn my sensor of my camera so that I can frame and focus and do a really high quality frame solve night after night after night and I can do multiple exposures without losing the edges of my image. Um, it also allows me to frame it just right without having to unscrew things and uh, deal with things manually. So I can do this all from inside my house. It also allows for me to set up a night of imaging and literally go to sleep and still have all of the perfect rotations taking place that I wanted to. So very excited for the Falcon Rotator. Let's check it out. So within the box, first thing I'm seeing, once again, I've got myself a 12 volt power uh, adapter, which I will not be using. I'm gonna be connecting it directly to the PowerBox V2 Metal Edition. And I have myself a USB cable, which I'll connect once again to the PowerBox V2. I've got a two inch nose piece, which I may or may not be using depending on my setup. I've got an M48 to 54 adapter, which will let me connect this to my imaging train. And here we go. Here's the part you wanted to see. Let's get this off to the side. And here's the part you wanted to see. It is the Falcon rotator. Let's get it out of this bag. Oh, that thing is a beauty. Look at that. So the Falcon Rotator, uh, on the bottom here, we've got power and USB so that we have control. We've got the motor. Look how thin this thing is. It's 18 millimeters from one side to the other. Once you put that uh, M54 to M48 adapter in there, it gets to 19 millimeters. In terms of back focus, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me. It does limit me. 19 millimeters of back focus now are eaten up with a rotator. But if I can get it working right, uh, back focus wise, this should improve my imaging quite a bit. Uh, it has a great uh, ability to can carry a good bit of weight. I know it's over 12 pounds. I don't know the exact number. Uh, it's like 12 or 13 pounds of uh, camera capacity and it will do just fine. And then this once again will rotate around um, to change the orientation of my camera sensor so that I can take really cool, well-framed images of the night sky. So that's it for today, guys. We're done with our unboxing. 
I'm going to be doing a lot of videos. I'm gonna be doing a video for each one of these separate components and probably multiple videos will include these products. Uh, thank you so much for watching Cosmo Safari. Uh, please hit that like button on this video if you like this video. Please hit subscribe if you would like to see more on these products and also future videos on how to do astrophotography in a frustration-free way. That's my goal here. I want to make it so much about you guys. I've got over a decade of experience doing astro, um, over six years of astrophotography, and I've gone through a lot of the pain and suffering that this hobby can provide. I want to make sure that you don't go through those same things. I want to be someone to help you. So please hit the subscribe button so I can do that. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Clear skies.